So small cell lung cancer has been a very tricky disease to treat for a very long time now. Almost for three to four decades, uh, the frontline treatment was chemotherapy and that's it. We didn't have any other drug in the frontline treatment. I think a couple of years ago, uh, uh, in 2018, 2019, we had two clinical trials that showed uh, significant efficacy of a pdl one inhibitor uh, when added to the chemotherapy backbone. These uh, trials were Empower 133, uh, which, which was a combination of an anti pdl one atezolizumab uh, with the chemotherapy backbone, which is usually either carboplatin or cisplatin with the toposite. And the second trial was a Caspian trial where uh, uh, it looked into the efficacy of Dervalumab when uh, combined with the chemotherapy backbone. And these were both positive trials, and we saw uh, that it uh, led to a significant increase in the median overall survival. However, the time frame of increase was only about two months, but you should, I mean, uh, I want the audience to realize that this is the first positive clinical trial that we have had in like years. So these two drugs got approved. So currently the standard of care for small cell lung cancer is anti pdl one either atezolizumab or dervalumab in combination with chemotherapy. So when we come to the second line, it gets really tricky because as I said, small cell lung cancer, it's characterized by very rapid development of drug resistance. And for the very long time, the second line therapy for small cell lung cancer was topotecan, which had a very minimal benefit, less than 7%. And then uh, we also had approvals for uh, some anti pd one therapies like nivolumab got approved, pembrolizumab got approved in the second and the third line setting. Uh, very recently, we saw that lorbenectidin, which is a drug um, uh, that got approved for the second line treatment for small cell lung cancer. So currently we have lorbenectidin and etoposide, uh, sorry, lorbenectidin and topotecan as the approved second line agent for small cell lung cancer. Uh, we no longer uh, uh, see anti pd one therapies being included in the second line and the third line setting because now that anti pd one and immunotherapy is already in front line, it gets tricky because all these patients who have record would have record on and immunotherapy. So now currently the second uh, line therapy is with either with uh, lorbenectidin or with topotecan or ininotecan. So that's, that's sort of the landscape. It's really not much out there. There are many clinical trials that are ongoing, but in terms of approvals, uh, it's really been disappointing. 